Millie Mozilla presents He Got It No Go. Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since I made a video here, uh, but I do kind of want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually recording this after the gameplay, so the gameplay is going to serve as B roll, I guess. Um, but I kind of want to talk about something that's a little bit more top of mind. And that's the uh, Google DeepMind AlphaGo matches with Lee Sedol. Now, this is big news um, for a lot of reasons, and there's a few points that I kind of want to touch on. First and foremost, I'm just going to kind of explain what it is. So, um, AlphaGo is... Well, basically what the matches are is it's, it's a, top, a match between a Google Artificial Intelligence, or a DeepMind that they called AlphaGo, and a top-ranked Korean professional, Lee Sedol, who has achieved the rank 9 professional, which is basically the highest rank you can be given um, in the game of Go. And those, for those who aren't familiar, the game of Go is thousands of years old. It's, it's originated in China. The only game known to be older is chess, as far as I know. The reason that this is kind of a big thing is because Unlike when they did Deep Blue in 97 with Garry Kasparov, Go has a lot more possibilities to it. There's a lot more human intuition that's involved. It's not just a lot of, you know, predicting a move, predicting the best move. I guess for intents and purposes, a lot more choices. Approximately, I think the number I found was 2 times 10 to the 170th power. So that's two with 200 zeros after it. That's a fairly large number. In fact, it's, it's kind of a running thing that it's, there's more possibilities than there are observable atoms in the universe. What Google's done here is they've created a, an artificial intelligence that I guess is capable of some kind of cognitive learning or at least reason on a human level. This game might not be as important had Google not already backed up their DeepMind prior to this match. Um, they've played a game before with a player, Fan Hui, and I'm probably mispronouncing that, uh, who was a 2 professional. Now, it's not the 9 professional that Lee Sedol is, but that's still a pretty high-ranking player. Definitely more than any AI's done before, and I mean, if you're looking at the gameplay footage over this, this is all an AI that I'm playing against. And while I'm not a terribly good player, this AI is still losing to me, so you, you kind of get the point. But in their matches with Fan Hui, um, the interesting thing is that Alpha Mind actually won five matches to none. So that means it won every time, and that's impressive. So the first match with Lee was last night. Um, it started at midnight my time, so that's Atlantic Standard Time, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern. After about three and a half hours of gameplay, AlphaGo actually beat Lee Sedol due to forfeit. Basically, Lee Sedol looked at the game and said, there's no possible way I could win from this position, assuming everyone plays everything correctly. I guess it surprised me that AlphaGo actually took match one. Honestly, I, I kind of thought there was going to be more struggle there. I mean, everyone's kind of expecting artificial intelligence to pick up and become the thing. And, you know, certainly Google's going to be one of the forerunners for it. They have all the money in the world. AlphaGo did take a pretty definitive game one. And I don't know whether or not that's because Lee Sedol was trying to maybe get something outside of a database, maybe throw them off. It, whatever the reason be, they did take game one. A few things that are, I guess, important about this. And the most important one being, if AlphaGo is able to do this, then they've proven that they've, they've created this AI that is capable of beating top human players. And Lee Sedol is one of the highest ranked players right now. So, it would be setting a bar that would be to be met at that point. Personally, I would like to see Lee Sedol take the next few games because I want to see Google put more money and research into this. I think there's still potential that could be met there, and I'd like to see that happen. I have a suspicion that if they win, this is going to be the last we'll see of AlphaGo for a little while. So like I said before, this is 
only one game that AlphaGo is taken, and it is a part of a five match series. So, the next match is again probably going up just as this video is going to get posted. Um, but if you if you're not watching it right away, it's going to be around uh, again midnight Atlantic Standard Time, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, there's a few places on YouTube you can watch it. Um, DeepMind themselves or Google have a channel. If you just search DeepMind, it's the very first result. I'll have it in the description of this video as well. A prominent place you can watch it is if you go to the American Go Association's uh, YouTube channel. And that would be youtube.com slash user slash usgoweb. And again, I'll have that in the description as well. Um, if you're in even the least bit interested in it, I would recommend even watching a little bit of it. From what I could tell yesterday, the commentators are very, very good. For those of you who aren't familiar with the game of Go, they'll make sure that you're not left in the dust or anything like that. They'll definitely make sure that you understand what's going on. So that's all for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you're not familiar with the game of Go, but you were familiar, I guess, with Deep Blue when it played against Gary Kasparov, let me know what you think of that. Um, otherwise, make sure to subscribe. I'll probably be covering the further matches in later videos. Maybe not one-on-one, -on -one, but definitely at some point. And uh, as always, I'm Millie Mozilla, and thanks for watching.